The in mourning, these are just some of the faces of the 12 young lives lost to violence this summer. In less than an hour tonight, a vigil begins to remember these children. But right now, a call for lawmakers to make a change. News 4 has team coverage tonight with crews pressing the governor at the state's capital and lawmakers here at home. We begin our coverage with News 4's Emily Pritchard live from the Wayman African Methodist Episcopal Church where a town hall, Emily, just got underway. That is right, Claire. People are starting to gather here at the church behind me, and this town hall is expected to really get underway around 5.30 this evening. I just got done speaking with the organizers here, and they stress that this is a conversation with the community tonight to offer a place where they can talk openly and freely about the violence that is plaguing our city. They say they are going to offer some resources on how families can deal with trauma, and they also want to hear from community members about what it is they need. I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother, and um, the recent egregious increase in violence that has literally left families without babies um, the thought of that has honestly just kept me up. Again, this town hall is expected to really get going around 530 this evening inside the church. I'm told it is a place of healing. They've asked us to leave our cameras outside and not go inside as they really want this to be an open and free conversation inside. Reporting live tonight in St. Louis, Emily Pritchard, News 4.